John Bottom here, Cape Cod Wet Shaving. I got a good video today, guys. Really good one. Very excited about it. I've been waiting almost two weeks, somewhere around there for this. Uh, before I get into it, coffee of the day is uh, Papua New Guinea from Sterling's Coffee. Very nice one, as they all are. Been drinking a lot of this today. I had a rough night last night. Uh, baby's been better, but he's still, we're, we're trying, fighting tooth and nail to get him into a, a sleep routine. So, four babies. And each one of them just teaches you something new. It's crazy. So, for those who have kids, you know what I mean. For those who don't, nice tip for you. All right. Let me get into this. So, before I show you what I'm going to be using, it's going to be a review. Just flat out. And first impression, all that stuff. Um, so there's some stuff about this I'm going to keep vague and that's intentional for now. Um, a lot of it is the wishes of the artisan and just, there's a whole bunch of stuff in play right now going on. So I don't want to say anything and be wrong or say anything and then something falls through, da, 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 da. You know how it is business. But I will say the soap I'm going to be using today, I'm the first one in the States maybe even in North America to, to use this soap. So I am extremely flattered and very excited about this. Um, I know it's, he made a very limited batch. I think it was like 15 or 16 soaps. There's some people in Europe who've, uh, purchased them and, and used them. It's from Italy. It's an Italian artisan made in Italy from Italy. And I just, it's really cool to be the first one in, in the U S to use this stuff. So I'm very excited about it. So, um, let me show you what it is and I'll get going from there. Okay. It is a soap from a company called veteran premium artisan soap, veteran soap. And this is cherry bomb. It's a vegan soap. Um, as you can see, it's cherry, uh, bergamot and sandalwood. It's very nice. Oh man. There's the pour. It's a beautiful pour. Smells very good, very cherry forward. Tiny bit of the bergamot right behind the cherry out of the tub. Because cherry, as you know, like rose and some other stuff is, is pretty heavy. Um, he was aware of this. So he, he's, he bounced it out, I think, pretty well. Coming off the tub, I can't wait to try it. Um, so as far as the artisan, he's, very, he's pretty well known in the, in the wet shaving community. Quite well known. I, I knew who he was. I um, I don't know everybody, but um, I think quite a few people would know him. He does not want me to divulge who he is as of this moment. And the soap is only available in Italy right now. So um, shipping from Italy to the, to the States is about 30 bucks. So if you do want to get it, you're going to be paying primarily shipping more than anything else. Um, absolutely, he'd appreciate it if he did it. But right now, in, he has something in the works where it's going to be made in the States. And that way it can be distributed, made in the States with his formula and distributed in the States, which obviously would cut his cost down by like four-fifths, something like that. At least three-quarters. So, um, if you would like to pick this up, I pretty he does have some available, pretty sure. Um, a handful of them left. That would be awesome. I mean... It's expensive, I get it, but it's definitely worth it, I think. And I think I'm in for a treat because I've seen some videos of him lathering with it and stuff. It looks really good. So let me get started, all right? I know I'm behind for a history shave. I've been, uh, my kids start school next Wednesday. And between getting ready for that, we always do a last hurrah for them. Uh, during the summer, we try to throw in a couple, usually the last week before they go to school. So yesterday we went to a water park. Um, for those who have ever seen The Hangover, not The Hangover, I'm sorry, uh, Grown Ups, right? Yeah, the one with Adam Sandler, the first one. Remember when they're in the pool and they're peeing and the water turned purple? It's a water park called Waterwoods in that movie. That's where we were yesterday. It's pretty cool. It's 30 minutes from our house. We go, we've been going there since... My 12 year old was still in a life jacket. So since he was five or six, so going on a decade now. So anyway, 
that back to school shopping, getting them ready, you know, the baby. So I haven't been around much. I apologize. When the kids go back to school, I'll have a lot more time. Knock on wood. Same thing. To do that. All right. Okay. So I'm going to go ahead and show you the ingredients right there. Handmade in Italy. I'm extremely excited about this release from this guy. Um, sorry to be vague, but as per his wishes. Oh, I can't even tell you my gear. Good grief. I'm using a Frank shaving. I call it a red crackle. It doesn't really have a name. Of course, I'm using my barber pole. Forever spray or whatever the heck it's called. And I'm going to be using my uh, Gillette Slim Black Handle Flare Tip today. And I'm going to have a Treat Falcon in that. All right. So I'm going to be using some standard stuff. I will not be using anything else but this soap. No pre-shave oil, not even an aftershave. I want to use everything on camera and just have post-shave feel and all that with the soap alone. So, mm. Mm -mm -mm. oops. But I hope everyone had a good summer. It sucks that it's over already. I'm already starting to see Halloween stuff in the stores, which I think is ridiculous. Look at that. Right out of the tub. It's about what I expected. Cannot wait. Oh. If y'all like cherry, you're gonna like this. FYI. I like that it's mixed with um, well-known and simpler notes. This is not a bad release for a first time release, in my opinion. I think it's unique in that he chose cherry. He could have chosen barbershop or just sandalwood or, you know, an easy, well-known, well-beloved scent. And he chose to do what he wanted to do. And I love the label. That's an awesome label. <laughs> it's very cool. I went to go line up my shot for the shave of the day like this. And then I looked at the logo and I'm like, that doesn't make sense. So luckily I noticed that and shifted it. Straightened it out there, but. All right. So one thing I'm going to point out too, and I gave him props for this and I'm going to be honest here. Um, he wants to stay obscure because I think personally, and I think he's a little humble to agree, but I told him, I think it's very cool that you're staying uh, behind the curtain as it were, because based on your name, you could sell soap probably just based on that alone. And he had said that he didn't want to sell it based on that. He wanted to sell it because people liked it and it was good. So that's some honorable stuff right there, good sir. And when I say I'll be honest, if it were me, I'd probably use my name. Because, you know, I mean, hopefully, not to not sound arrogant or that I'm that big or anything, but for some people, it would be an almost shoe-in to use your name and likeness. Like, hey guys, it's me. I make soap. I need to show you the lather, whoops. Look at that. Buy my soap. And people probably would. And I'm not saying there's anything wrong with that. Because again, I'd probably do that. I gotta thicken that up big time. Um, but I think that's cool. It says a lot, I think, about his character. That he'd rather it be a good product, well known for that, before anything else. So, 
Kudos to you. And I've been trying to go on Google Translate and stuff and brush up on my Italian. And I'm not doing well at it. Because I'll talk to him. We'll send voice messages back and forth. He speaks great English. And I'll try to pronounce something. And he's like, what? Who? <laughs> and I'm like, oh, this. Like, uh, I was talking about the Scapiccio Barber School. He goes, the what? I said, Scapiccio. He's like, oh, Scapiccio. I was like, oh, yes, that. So he was talking about how they're in the south of Italy, and he doesn't make it down that way. Um, one of his family lives down there, but he hasn't had a chance to go. Stuff like that. It's really interesting. I'm going to go ahead and get my mustache, too. There we go. I'm getting it thickened up a bit. That scared me. Not good PR. I'm not lathering this stuff right, and I put it on thin as hell. Oh. This smells good. This smells very good. If you're a cherry fan, automatically, without saying anything else, I'm going to say that you're going to like this. Not even black cherry. I don't know. Like a bright red Montgomery cherry. Not not a darker black cherry. There we are. Very good. Well, I got that lather going. All right. So, the website, I'll put the website in the description where you can go to buy this if you're interested in it. There is no matching splash either, not yet. Because again, all this is brand new. This guy's just coming out of the gate. So everything's in the works. And I'm beyond flattered that he involved me with this. And there's some other stuff he and I got in the works, possibly, that I'm not gonna mention yet. Like I said, I'd be I'm gonna be vague, but it's not intentional, it's just for now. Oh, that's slick. I haven't used this. I haven't used it at all. I've been waiting. It just got here yesterday, be a fact, while we were at the water park. So I got it last night, yesterday evening, and just opened it and sniffed it and sent him a photo, let him know it made it okay. And then put together a shave of the day photo, which was hard. Cause I wanted to, I almost went to the grocery store and bought cherries. <laughs> Just to, cause we have a Montgomery cherry tree in our yard, but it's way past, way past fruit. The uh, time of year where it bears fruit, we already ate, animals ate like 98% of the cherries we ate, you know, a handful of them ourselves. I don't do what I need to do for it, so they're pretty bitter. They're very good cherries. They're big, plump, bright red cherries. But anywho, almost went to do that because I'm like, you know, this is an important shave of the day. And then last minute, I remembered I had something I could use for it, so. I think it fit pretty well. And I know it's winding down on summer. I almost said something dumb to him. I was going to be like, yeah, isn't it weird that it's summer here and it's winter over there? And I kind of stopped myself and I thought, and I'm like, well, that's right. That's the northern southern hemisphere, not east-west. 
So you got one pole facing the sun, you got one pole facing away from the sun. That's what does the seasons. So I almost made an idiot of myself. It would have been pretty embarrassing. Made me laugh though. Glad I caught myself. <laughs> um, so this might almost be gourmand a little bit. And if you don't like gourmand scents, I don't mean to deter you. But the reason I say that is I would use this definitely into autumn because of the cherry element. Now, there is, again, remember I said there's bergamot right behind it. That didn't go away. And the sandalwood, I wonder what kind of sandalwood he used. Because it doesn't seem like Indian sandalwood. It's not like really spicy or pungent or direct. I might be wrong. Hopefully not. But the sandalwood, I think, just tones down the other two. I'm not sure. But the slickness on this is really good. Ooh, that was close. Almost lopped off a mustache here. Slickness on this is really good. Really good. Especially for a vegan. And I hope he doesn't mind me mentioning this. I forgot to ask him, but I don't think he will. Because I think it's prudent. One of the times we were talking, I said, you know, what are you up to? He said, I'm rendering some tallow. I went, oh. So, unless he has a weird hobby of rendering tallow and doing absolutely nothing with it, I think he's working on a tallow base. Just some of the stuff he's told me about um, European rules and regulations and international versus what America wants, you know, North America and all that, shipping international. A lot of us already know that, but I think some of the ingredients, some of the fragrance notes, I think there's some stuff he's working on that you can't even uh, get in the U.S., I think is what he said, or very expensive in the States, something like that. But this is really nice. Sleekness on this is very good. Not just because I'm pushing for it either. I told him I was going to do this video. And he was just like, I hope you like it. I said, yeah, I'm sure I will. But I say this about a really a lot of people on here, but hell of a guy. I like him. So I'm excited for him with this endeavor. My son out there doing something. Probably putting his clothes away. I had all his clothes folded and sitting on the arm of the couch for him to get them Trying to, so he can't hear me and he came down and grabbed a change of clothes like a thing of socks and underwear and all that to get dressed and he left everything and when he does that I grab it's like four stacks of clothes three stacks of clothes and I will deposit them directly in front of his door so he opens his door and he looks down and he's like ah little to the point I did the same damn thing so it's it's something that annoys me now that I'll miss one day and I try to remind myself of that because he's 
a senior this year, so he's not going to be in the house forever, you know? I don't even like to think about it. All right. 20 minutes. Damn. All right. Let me rinse this off. And we'll see how post shave is, all right? I want to show you what I have left. Since strength on it, it's pretty medium for a cherry. It's not horrifically strong where it fills the bathroom, but it's not so light that it'll dissipate, you know, after the shave. So let me rinse this off. I'll be right back. All right. So interestingly, as I was over the sink rinsing my face off, I got a ton of bergamot right in the face. Like as I was throwing water on to rinse this off, just pure more bergamot than cherry. So that was a really nice surprise. So it's there. I got a hint of it, but once I had threw the water on, I mean, it was right there. That was very nice. Okay. Post is really good. No irritation. That was the second use for that Falcon, by the way. I forgot to mention that too. So, all I did was wash my face with uh, Dove Unscented Moisture Bar. This one here. And that's all I did to prep. So, if I were going to make a set out of this to pair it, I would probably go with American Shave Co. Sandalwood Pre-Shave Oil. I would do Sterling Black Cherry Splash and Crown and Crane Bergamote Balm. That's what I would have done. That would have been nice. Very cool. All right. Very nice shave. Look at that. Oh, I like it a lot. I think you guys will too. Um, especially if you like cherry, like I said, but this is just the first and a step of hopefully many other videos and posts and things of that nature updating about this. I'm very excited. Um, again, go in the description. I'm going to put the link to, um, this artisan down there. Remember, this is brand new. He just started, just started. So there's not a lot, but he has a bunch planned. I'm very excited for him, as I said. So, you know. Keep an eye on it. Um, till then, thank you for watching. Sorry this video was so long. I was trying to aim for like 15 minutes, if you can believe it. I just got lost in talking. I haven't done a video in a while. So thank you for watching to the end if you did. Really appreciate it. Um, and thank you, Mr. Mystery Artisan, for this. Really appreciate it. You know who you are. Um, this, yeah, there'll be, there'll be stuff in the works. So we'll talk soon. All right. Everyone take care, enjoy the final little snippets of summer. And for those going back to school, I know, I remember that feeling. For those who are already in school, same. Um, but at least we've got Halloween and the good holidays coming up. So can't wait for that. Come on, Autumn. All right, take it easy, everyone. Take care, be safe. Till next time, happy shaving.